Hello guys, how are you? And welcome back to level 10 to the Prem with me, John, aka Old Man Sue. We're back with Hallam FC and things have been going pretty well. We're back on the transfer um, page because we lost a player. We lost Ollie Bro. He was such a good right back for us um, this season so far. Played really, really well for us overall. As you can see, a 7.3, 24 games, um, 4 assists. He did, I thought he did really well for us, um, youngster. But unfortunately, he went off to Washington. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. So, we brought a couple of players in, though. Michael Harding, I spoke about him in the last video. He was a striker for uh, Barton Town, was it? Or something like that? Yeah, Barton Town, as you can see there's 25 games, 19 goals. Uh, so, we poached him because he was looking so good. And as you can see, he started off really well for us. Four games, he's played three goals. He's been doing really, really well overall. Jack Blackford we got in as well, um, who we need some cover out on that left midfield. He, after losing Jack Steele actually, we keep we lose players, we have to bring someone in. Uh, but this guy looks pretty good at 22 years old, should do a decent job as cover for us overall. And then we've just literally signed Luke Trotman. Uh, after losing Ollie Bro, we needed to get another right back in. This guy looks fantastic, should do really well and be good for us next season as well, I would imagine. Um, looks overall looks really good as you can see a lot of greens and some blues there not as many reds this guy is probably the next level really I was quite surprised we got him but overall I think absolutely fantastic uh, schedule wise we've been doing pretty well after the last game of the 2-1 against Gull you can see there we've had a bit of a cup run in the Northern Counties East League not the biggest cup in the world but uh, we're having a bit of a cup run uh, and we're through to the final of that against North Therapy and apart from that we've done pretty well apart from the draw against Dunkirk we've done pretty well we've had a, a good couple of wins there as you can see beat Barton Town 4-1 um, Sizzledon we beat Dunkirk we drew against but uh, Mansfield we we won against as well and um, Eccles Hill we played twice beat them twice Bots Bottlesford today it's going to be a tough one uh, we are still top of the league but a point only a point ahead of North Ferriby but we do have a game in hand still so really we just need to make sure we carry on winning we've still got to play them as well and they play Grimsby today so really we could do Grimsby won it, winning that us winning our game and winning our game in hand give us a good little breathing space as well there's only eight games or so left so really we just got to carry on winning as long as we carry on winning we should be absolutely fine uh we're going with this formation today it's going to be harris armitage parker leach and hackett current and engenze uh with turner abby and moses with harding up front let's see how we get on hopefully we should do okay i mean like i said they're a decent squad but um, we're up against but it's a team we should be winning against really as we'll go to the dressing room we'll ask the assistant to do that and we'll give it a passionate talk and say uh, we've been on Google go out they impress me it's done bloody nothing so let's give them a pa passionate talk and let's see how we get on um, yeah I mean I'm expecting us to drop some more points at some point so uh, you know, it's going to go probably down to the wire, but hopefully this won't be the game we do drop those points and we can get a really good win uh, here, which would be absolutely fantastic. As Harris now launches the, or passes it to Leach, Leach then launches the ball down the wing, gives it to Moses. Moses can get it into Harding. Harding's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Can he put it in? He can't. I mean, that was a weak shot. He should have done a lot better than that, really. Um, that would have seen us get the goal. But Leach now again puts it forward, gives it to Harding, who gets about to Curran. Curran then puts it forward to Harding. Harding goes out wide. Can he get a cross in here? He does get the cross in. It doesn't really see anyone, and it's actually Keaton who can come forward for Bottlesford. Bottlesford's coming forward now. He gets a nice little pass in. We do cut it out pretty well, though, and it goes all the way back to the goalie. As what's he going to do here? He walks out, gives it to Leach. Leach now with a ball, with a long ball forward. Harding again tries to collect it, but he can't quite get it, and uh, gives it back to Bottlesford, who coming forward, but we do get it as a good long ball forward Harding's going to get this now he's by himself though can he get across and he does to Turner Turner with a header and it's just over let's uh, demand a little bit more and see if we can keep this pressure on them they are having quite a few shots as well we might have to change a few little bits very very soon because uh, they seem to be there or thereabouts at the moment we've got a free kick here though now Hackett what's he going to do here puts it through to Moses Moses got a chance he takes a shot Harding with the rebound and it's 1-0 to Hallam Harding there 29 goals this season I mean obviously majority of them came from his previous team but he's uh, carrying on the form in this team as well um with between him and Crook we are doing absolutely fantastic I mean we're a bit lucky there keeper couldn't 
really parry it anywhere else. 20 minutes gone though, we are 1 0 up. Is it going to show an offside? He's onside by a million miles. I don't even know why he's showing it. Skip that because it's not worth watching. And oh, I thought that was a penalty then for a second as Keaton with the ball now takes it out wide. We do slow him down a little bit and he then puts it into the middle. We are going to get the ball though here and Leach then with a long ball forward to Harding. Harding's got a chance, surely mm, can't quite get there. And it's a corner to us. 23 24 minutes gone and we are pretty much seen all of the uh, balls all the pressure but now it's a chance possibly here as he just kicks it out the quality of non-league football being shown there Leach with the ball now passes it to Parker gives it back to him just knocking it around and then they put a long ball forward uh, Harding couldn't quite get there it's Keating who comes forward now they get the play ball quite nice he gets past one play cuts it in and it's a good save by the keeper they can't quite keep it in play and with 26 minutes gone let's get creative and see if we can score another goal uh, it's not done too good has it there the pressure uh, 34 35 minutes gone can we see out to half time when they're up that'd be absolutely fantastic if we can we've got maybe another chance here a free kick we put the ball in Harden can't quite put it on target and again we come so close there's a few minutes left before the half and can we see it out can we maybe even just get a second goal just to give ourselves a little bit of breathing room switch play to Ngenze there who gives it out to Moses who tries to put it in but he can't quite get it in and now they can play it down the wing Morgan cuts inside he's got a bit of room here to run and he gets past one he gets past two it almost takes a shot tries again I mean we've been a bit lucky there we seem to block it quite well another ricochet and I'm sure it went out for a goal kick Bottlesford are playing pretty well we've got to be really really careful here because they could come back in we've got a free kick Moses stands over the ball puts it in and I think that was a save at the end of the day I don't think it was going to be a goal it looked like it was going to go wide Moses though with the corner puts the ball in it's cleared quite well but only as far as Parker Parker gives it to Moses or no it was Ngenze sorry not Moses and it was a close shot but not close enough really uh there one nil up we're doing all right. We could be a little bit better. I say assertively. Uh, I know you're capable of even better. It's not done much at all. Uh, one or two players not playing particularly well. So we're going to have to make a couple of changes very, very soon. But we'll give them a little bit of a chance. I mean, uh, who's not playing well? And not playing. Armitage isn't playing particularly well. Turner and Abby aren't playing well either. That's the bit of a problem there. I'm going to just see if we change Turner and Abby over. Will that be any better for us? We'll make a couple of substitutions very, very soon as well. We're going to demand a little bit more from Go up another minute or two. There's not been really any highlights in the second half so far. Finally get a highlight here as we've got the ball. But we take a mistake there. But then Parker can clear it. And again, though, it's just them. They've got a chance. And it's a good save by the keeper. And that's time, I think, for us to make a couple of changes. Armitage is still not playing well. So Brownhill can come on for him. Um... These two still aren't playing great, and we haven't really got anyone who can go out on the left. I think Callum Crook, though, could come on for Turner. I think and we'll move him up forward. Curran can come off, and Anderson can come on for him. And we'll leave it at that. Just make that tactic change when it lets me in a second. Right, there we go. Uh, Crook, you can come up here. You out here. And let's just see if giving them a bit more pressure is really going to do anything for us we'll demand a little bit more from the team 10 minutes left to go can we see it out we're only one nil up it's really close Bottlesford have had a good couple of chances and they've probably got another one here it looks like as they put the ball in we do clear it though we launch up but only as far as one of their players now and they can come back on the attack they try a long ball which they do find someone we do tackle him though Brownhill with a good bit of defending and now we might be able to actually attack ourselves Moses with the ball he's got a one-on-one -on -one. he's gone a bit too close he cuts it in Harding with the goal I mean I was expecting him to shoot I won't lie, I've seen it too many times with them shooting in those stupid angles. He actually cut it back perfectly and Harding then could just smash it into the back of the net. Um, whether that's because of the update, I don't know. But the fact that he cut it back there was amazing. Uh, that's the first time I've seen one of them do that on a one-on-one -on -one chance for a long, long time. Uh, two minutes left to go. It looks like we are going to go in winners here. We've got to see how North Ferriby and Grinsby. I haven't seen the score come up at all, but we might get actually a chance to get one more goal. Moses with the ball cuts it in again, and another chance there as it's just tipped over. It's going to go in for a corner. I mean, there's three minutes left. We're 2 0 up. Surely we've won the game. We just want to see how the other results have gone, though, really, at the moment. As uh, Ngenze is going to pick this up now, what's he going to do here? He tries to get past. Was that a yellow card? 
I mean, it didn't look that bad really, but uh, we'll take it as they have a goal kick. They launch it up. We head it out to Abby. Abby now with a nice little cheeky ball forward. Harding with another chance. Get in there. Harding with the goal. Harding scores again. I mean, this is why this guy is so good. He's probably too good for this level. He needs to be in another you know, level 8, level 7, possibly even uh, higher than that if he can carry on 31 goals this season. Absolutely bloody fantastic. We couldn't ask for much more than that overall. I mean, uh, I think that was his hat-trick as well. It was a hat-trick for him. And it's a fantastic win for us, right? Team talk, let's say, passionately. Uh, I'm very happy with the result and the way you played. Hand that over. And uh, let's see how the other teams went. I mean, if North Ferriby lost, we are laughing because that will help us out so much. Give us that little bit of breathing space with seven, eight games left to go as well. Um, we'll see what the result was in a minute. We'll know if they're only a point behind us or four points behind us as well. Um, and they're four points. Did they lose? Where is it? Gainsborough won. Grinsby won. Get in there, Gainsborough. Grinsby won. They had a player sent off as well. They only just done it. That is a fantastic result for us. That helps us out so much, especially if we win that game in hand as well. We win that game in hand. We will be for, what, seven points clear? Uh, that, yeah, that will be amazing. It's gone brilliant. Sizzledon look like they're pretty much down. And Melt May might maybe as well. Uh, Hemsworth just propping it up there at the bottom but overall that is absolutely fantastic I mean we couldn't have asked for much more we'll praise you quickly there and let's have a little look again at that league because that is absolutely fantastic for us that is doing ah oh, that's amazing uh going so well for us at the moment we could do scoring a few more goals really but the goals are coming quite quite good for us so I'm sure that will ramp up a little bit more before the end of the season um Right, schedule-wise, when are we going to come back? We'll probably come back for the North Ferriby Cup final game. Uh, might even do a double load, uh, double game, and uh, miss out the Handsworth one and do the North Ferriby. Depends on when we, if we can win the league. If Ferriby drop a couple more points and we win a couple of games, we might be winning the league. So I'll see where we're going to win the league. It'll be either the North Ferriby game or if we're going to win the league before that. Well, it looks like we might win the league before that. I will obviously record before that. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Remember to like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, remember to um, come follow me on Twitter as well. And I'm just about to start um, working with Passion for FM. So go and give them a like and everything like that. I'll put links down in the chat to them. Uh, as always, I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.